We're here at the microchip here at Embedder World, and who are you? Hi, my name is Christine Friesman. I work in uh, development tools. And uh, you said here your favorite development tool just got better. Is this, is there, is this uh, the previous generation, the favorite development tool for, for who? Making yeah, what? so uh, the Picket series of uh, debuggers that Microchip has had has been around for at least 15 years, and it's been our best-selling debugging tool. So it's debugging uh, what kind of uh, chips? So it debugs all of our PIC and DSPIC chips, and the PICKET 4 will also has debugging protocol, a serial wire debug that will also uh, debug our CEC1702 series, which is an ARM device. Uh, so how does it work? Uh, where do you connect it and uh, what happens then? So it's to connect to a computer and start debugging? or Exactly. So you can connect it through a USB cable and that goes to your computer. And then you connect this to your target board. This is an 8-pin serial uh, inline uh, header. Uh, the previous version had 6 pins. This one has 8-pin. So that we can support other debugging protocols in the future. What could that be, for example? You well, one of them yet? is the serial wire, wire debug, and the other ones, yeah, we. And, and which ARM same. chips are you debugging? Are you debugging the whole range or just one? No, we're one? not. Right now, it's the CEC seventeen oh two. All right. And uh, what are these boards right here? So these boards, these are Explorer sixteen thirty two boards. And what this demo is doing, it's showing you how much faster the Picket four debugs, or how, how much faster programs when compared to the Picket three. So we have a Pic thirty two MZ device on this board with uh, two megabytes of memory and we're uh, erasing and reprogramming with this and you can see the picket 4 does this in 20 seconds and the picket 3 takes 151 seconds how popular is this picket 3 it's very popular it's our most popular uh, debugger to date like tens of thousands of people like millions of people or hundreds of thousands hundreds of yes. thousands of people yes, are using this right now and they'll be happy that they'll be able to get seven times faster debugging. Oh yeah, because what it does is it allows them, if they want to just use basic debugging on one of our 32-bit devices with the high memory size, it allows them to do that. And so how much it cost? This it's not one, free. It's not free. No? <laughs> it's uh, $47.95, so it's exactly the same price as the Picket 3. What is, uh, why is it $47.95? Is there a reason for that? That was a good price point. <laughs> okay. All right. So, um, um, all right. So it's available now, or it's available now. It was it went, it went for sale yesterday? We put out the press release yesterday morning, and if people come to the show, they can get twenty five percent off the picket four and the ICD four. So when the, when the people develop projects and stuff like that, they need to debug, but they also need what do they need? Development boards. Uh, if they, other things? Yeah, if they develop a project, what's really great is we have, for rapid prototyping, we have these curiosity boards, sorry, over okay. here. So the curiosity boards, you can pick which type of microprocessor you want to start out with, and these boards are fairly generic, and then you put on what we have are these click boards. So depending on your application, you can get started very quickly by adding a click board. What is this one? Oh. I'm not sure exactly. I would have oh, there's to, a uh, water detect click. Oh, well, there you go. That one's a water what is it? So what does that mean? It detects water? It must, yeah. There's a whole, there's a, There's many different kinds of click Thermo, boards. Thermo, Wi-Fi, yeah. IRDA. They do a lot of different things. All kinds so of stuff. So you've got uh, LoRa. LoRa on here, yeah. And some of these are uh, Bluetooth modules. Wi-Fi. So. Skywire. So, tons of ideas people can have, and tons there's more ideas. right here. Yeah, and these are all, yeah. All made by microchip or made no, by partners? Uh, this is made by a partner of ours, Microelectronica. Just one partner does yes. all these. Does all of these, yes. All right. Uh, so, these plug into where? They plug into these little headers they have on these uh, curiosity boards. And you can also see we have them on some of the uh, explain boards as well. Uh, yeah, jump over here. So, what's the curiosity? Is a bigger board than the explain or? Um, you call this explain well, boards? Well, the explain boards has different types. There's nanos, okay. minis, pros. Um, so they have different sizes for the different type. Uh, and then, but for these ones in particular, they're able to uh, put on the click boards as well. So they do different stuff. Explained is different stuff than Curiosity. Yeah, so Explained is going to have an AVR chip on it or a SAM device on it, so it depends. This one has a SAM D21 on it. Which is the ARM. 
Right, so it's an arm device, and then this one has an AVR, and I don't know exactly which chip's on that one. I can't right. see it, but um, yeah. And then the, all, the, all the Curiosity boards are all pig-based. Do, do you know some of the stuff that they're showing at the 32-bit uh, uh, controller over there? Um, I haven't seen it. Okay, cool, sorry. <laughs> but okay. I was just wondering if it's, uh, okay, if, if, if it might be, be plug-in, plug-out. It's probably yeah. similar, yeah. And so how popular is the whole uh, Curiosity and explained? They're is very the main popular. the yeah. board for microchip systems? Yes, it is now. It's some of our most popular boards are coming out. And they're they're relatively inexpensive as well. So they start around $20 and they go up to around $50.